close. Um, so we'll go through these last few slides um, pretty quickly. All of the slide content that we've gone over in the presentation will be shared with all of you, as well as um, I know Dana, who is our corporate communications manager, um, will reach out with you if you have questions and a way to engage the Blue Cat team if there's anything that we need to clarify. So um, I started the presentation a little bit around DNS as a service and what we're seeing our customers move towards and how we're seeing it change overall. And what we're finding is, and what I hope you got through the various presentations, is that DNS is something that has changed and shifted over the years. It's, it's coming from the cloud now. Customers want to do changes rapidly. They want to have it secured. Um, Blue Cat in general wants to and does continue to innovate in the ways that we manage the DNS infrastructure and DNS as a service. DNS data can be utilized for much more in an enterprise organization than what it is being used for today. So not only can it be used for a security perspective like Cisco had gone through, but we really want to focus on service health. So what can it tell individuals about their network as well as application health? You know, is there something about the application that they should know about um, that the DNS queries would tell them about the application? So we'll focus on those two areas. So from a service health perspective, if you look at this data, and, and I know it's kind of an eye chart here in terms of the trends, but this was actually insights that we got from one of our customers um, specifically related to the latency in their network. And so what we were able to map out was effectively how long was it taking for DNS queries to resolve? And what was the latency? Uh, the green and yellow lines are good. So both of those lines represent under 20 milliseconds of latency in order to get the query response back to the end client who made the initial request. Blue and orange, um, not so good. Anywhere from 100 to greater than 100, sometimes thousands of milliseconds to get that response back to the client. And from a DNS perspective, what would happen is you're going to get a timeout long before you get the resolution for the query that you have. And so what we saw was, um, as you can see, before September 10th, um, you could see that there was a lot of that increased latency in their network. There was a lot of blue in their environment. What this allowed us to do from the perspective of a service with this customer was reconfigure their DNS infrastructure and their path, their network path for resolution to address this latency. And so we quickly identified the issue with the latency, made small minor configuration changes for them and completely almost eliminated the latency here on the right that you see in the graphs. And so that, that change by rerouting the way that they were doing it, it completely solved a problem that they didn't even recognize that they had in their environment. And so that's where we're seeing DNS being more than just query and response or query response and security. It's becoming more and more in that environment. The second case that we have that we wanted to talk about the futures and what we see constantly evolving with DNS is an application situation that we saw with another customer. And so this one specifically was related to an agent that the customer had installed on their devices in their environment. And they installed it over 70,000 endpoints within their environment. This application naturally was very chatty. Um, it did about 5,000 QPS or queries per second in the environment. So it was naturally a very chatty type of application. The customer didn't actually realize that. So immediately, just by putting in the edge service points, the customer went back to the, the manufacturer of this application and said, why is this so chatty? They didn't realize that they were all of a sudden going to get this network spike in traffic because they didn't expect that. More importantly, what we were able to identify was on August 24th, you'll see that there was a very big spike in data. And so their queries per second went from 5,000 to 13,000 immediately. And what, was, what the edge service point was able to do and what Blue Cat identified was something happened, something triggered this anomaly in behavior. And when we dug it down with the customer, and we were able to identify it pretty quickly um, in less than a week, but what we identified was that they had applied a patch to this specific agent, and that patch all of a sudden had a bug in it, and that bug increased their traffic almost threefold. And you're talking about queries per second, so take that, expand it over the time. Their entire network was having massive issues related to this one patch. And so a lot of what DNS is, uh, is going to do for BlueCat and what BlueCat's focusing on as a service and providing DNS as a service is finding ways to use Edge to really uh, self-heal when these kind of anomalies show up in the data. Because after you trend data for a period of time with any of these customers and the trend all of a sudden goes weird, you're able to start now analyzing what's happening. So in this case, we could actually see the specific queries that had gone up 
And you can put in policies that I know both the Chris and Noel, the Cisco side, and on the Blue Cat side, you can put in policies to help manage that. So you don't allow DNS now and this one misbehaving client patch, whatever situation, end up taking down your entire uh, infrastructure and organization. 